You know guys, earlier this year I used to get a lot of comments from people saying the exact same thing and luckily I don't really get as many of them nowadays because I guess more people have chosen the side of common sense rather than defending Activision and Call of Duty. But a lot of people would ask me, Fooly, why do you keep complaining? Fooly, why do you keep ranting? Ranting and hating for views. And my answer was always the exact same. If they being Activision or the devs give me anything to complain about, then that's on them and that's just common sense. And guys, today is no different. And as a matter of fact, today's news is actually extremely sad because this is following a series of terrible decisions by Activision there's been a lot of things going down with the franchise negatively, and today's news is actually just so much more sad than what we've seen previously, especially coming after the SM2 news of SM2 getting shut down with a cease and desist by Activision. Well guys, today Activision has just added fuel to the fire, and it looks like they're not stopping anytime soon, and this has implications for another game or client or IP that I fear is going to be shut down as well very soon with a cease and desist as well. This news comes out from Charlie Intel early this morning. He says, Activision has issued another cease and desist today to X Labs, another group that was doing mods for certain Call of Duty games. This comes after last week's cease and desist to SM2. And X Labs tweet was, today we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision in relation to the X Labs project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you all for your support over the years. And guys, before I get into anything, I just want to start out by saying, Activision just fuck you again, all right, for like the 20th time. Fuck you guys, you guys are absolutely the worst publishing company that I have seen in modern times. Not only are your previous Call of Duties near impossible to play, most of the time you're still charging full price for them, you don't update them, and there's problems with that that I'll talk about later on. Your recent CODs are all garbage, top to bottom. I'm sorry for the people who disagree, but MW 2019 to the present day, all garbage. All of them, Dumpster Deuce, Gooch Sweat, all of them are arguably in the bottom five to seven Call of Duties of all time. So already we're pretty limited on getting some good Call of Duty experiences, but one of the main ways of getting that old school Call of Duty feel was through clients like X Labs, through Plutonium, and soon to be SM2. I'll talk about Plutonium in just a little bit, but for right now, X Labs is just completely gone. I have very limited knowledge on X Labs as compared to SM2 because once again, I'm not on PC, I'm on console, so the likelihood of me playing X Labs to begin with probably wasn't very high to begin with, but I do know there is quite a few people in my comments section, all over Twitter, all over Reddit, other content creators who only play on those modded clients because they want to get that original Call of Duty feel once again. And some people have recommended that I play them, and even if I had a PC, I guess fuck it, it's chalked. Like, you literally cannot play that shit anymore because Activision is just shutting them down. Why? We'll talk about that in just a second too, but this is extremely saddening news because so many people's hard work into making X Labs possible for who? For the fans, right? All of these clients, including X Labs, were created so that old school fans can play the old school games and have fun. And seeing how this came right after SM2, I wouldn't be surprised if Plutonium is next. And Plutonium is arguably the most popular one and probably the saddest part about this news is that everybody is predicting that plutonium is next now if you guys don't really know what sm2 is or x labs or plutonium they're essentially just modded versions of old school games like mw2 black ops 2 black ops 3 i think was for x labs a modded version of black ops 1 is currently in the works if i'm not mistaken and sm2 was going to be like the best of call of duty it wasn't really necessarily a modded game it was every single good part about every single COD mixed into one. All of them shut down completely. And this comes very shortly after the leaks of Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3, which we know is going to be nostalgia baiting people. We know Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 is going to be a pile of dog shit. Their only chance of getting that game to be successful is getting people hyped up with nostalgia, with the old school maps from Modern Warfare 2, the original, and Modern Warfare 3. We haven't seen many remastered maps across those two original games, and likely they're being saved for Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 later this year. With that said, all of these modded clients that feed on that nostalgia, rightfully so because those games were actually fucking good, they're all being shut down. And really quickly, something that I saw very commonly throughout my comments section on my video about SM2 was the whole thing about the Discord 
Discord message about, hey, you don't need to buy Modern Warfare 2 to play SM2. I saw a lot of people trying to give out every excuse possible for the cease and desist of SM2. Even though this is speculation, I can almost guarantee you I'm like 100% right on this. It isn't about this whole like, oh, they're gonna take away from the sales. Oh, they didn't require MW2 to be purchased. Oh, they're pirating. No. It's because these modded clients are simply fucking better than anything Activision or these recent devs can put out. I know several content creators who are playing X-Labs for their content in the background because the recent CODs just aren't it. And as much as gooch lickers want to come out here and say, well just go play the old ones, you need to pay for them, oh you're poor, you're broke, all this stupid shit. If you go back to those old CODs that are hacked to shit, you're literally putting yourself at risk and all of your personal information, you're at risk of getting your address put out there, you're at risk of getting doxxed, you're at risk of getting fucking swatted, all of your information is at risk. And this comes out from Doug Dimodome Warzone, he says, The biggest issue with Activision shutting down mods like Xlabs is that there is no safe alternative to play older Call of Duty games online anymore. If you play old COD games on console, you are putting yourself at serious risk because your personal information isn't safe. And this is simply a known fact, like, the, the main goal for majority of these modded clients was so that people could play this safely. Of course, it's the nostalgia that gets people hooked on it, but you're smoking fucking chode if you think I'm gonna go play Black Ops 2 right now on console and get all of my information completely fucked, not to mention the fact that it's just gonna be filled with hackers regardless so my experience isn't gonna be good regardless. It's extremely obvious what Activision's whole plan is with this. So with all that being said, all of this upsetting news that we've seen over the last month, honestly, which has been cranked up to a different level in the last week, once again, I'm going to use my platform to the best of my ability. Unlike fucking Charlie Intel, Doug Dimodome Warzone, and some of these other bigger platforms, let me be the one to say it. Even though there's probably not going to be any more alternative to safely playing the old nostalgic CODs, don't fall for the nostalgia bait of the next COD. Do not purchase the next Call of Duty game. That game was destined to fail had it not been for the title that's being plastered on it, and it should remain that way even if the title is on it. Why would you consciously support a company that is purposely taking away any possibility of you having fun for all the OG fans, for all of the diehard Call of Duty fans? To those of us that started in the golden era of COD, these new kids don't understand what we used to have. Even though I started in Black Ops in 2010, I have never seen any other franchise have a run every single year from COD 4 in 2007 to Black Ops 2 in 2012. That run for a franchise going back to back to back to back to back years is fucking insane. And if you want to be the gooch looking moron that's in the comments saying, oh you're just wearing rose tinted glasses, the nostalgia, the nostalgia. Look at the last three Modern Warfare titles that came out. Modern Warfare 2019, 2019 Part 2, and now 2019 Part 3. All three of those bait on nostalgia. And the two that we have currently are dog shit. So no. Nostalgia is not playing a factor, it's not looking at the past with bias, it's the simple fact that those games were actually good, hence why so many people want to go back to them. And now Activision is permanently getting rid of those other alternative options, just to get you to play the recent shit. So let me be the one to tell you once again, don't buy the next fucking COD, it's not gonna be good, and Activision, especially now more than ever, does not deserve your support does not deserve your money, and does not deserve you as a fan. I'm predicting right now it's gonna be no more than two weeks before Plutonium gets something. If you don't know what Plutonium is, it is probably the best modded client that you can go back and play Black Ops 2 on. I was planning on getting a PC soon, and I would have been all over that shit. Unfortunately, I'd probably not, because Plutonium's probably gonna get taken down as well. Now, what options does Plutonium have? I honestly have no clue. To those of you that work with, like, copyright laws and all this other shit and pirating. Maybe you can offer some solutions or some insight on this, but the Scad Master does not know about any of that shit. All I can tell you is that it's extremely upsetting knowing the inevitable is about to happen to Plutonium as well. And if you thought people were happy and on board for SM2 and X Labs, Plutonium is by far the best option right now that we have. And honestly, I'm gonna give it a couple of weeks at most. It's an extremely sad day in the Call of Duty community, guys. I mean, we're witnessing right now Activision just destroying majority of our childhoods, honestly. That's actually what this is at its core. And it's just gonna get 
worse and worse from here, guys. Like I said, Plutonium is inevitably next. After that, I can guarantee you all of the leaks, all of the insight, and all of the rumors about Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 and some of these other platforms, I'm just gonna call you guys out right now in advance. When you start reporting on that shit and you start talking about, oh, I have faith in Activision and Sledgehammer now, fuck you guys. That game's about a suck orangutan cock and you know it. I don't know what your whole thing is with defending the recent Call of Duty titles and overhyping them before they come out and then acting surprised when shit goes wrong. And the worst part about all of this, and I said it in my last video about SM2, is not the fact that Activision is taking down these games, it's the fact that people actually put time into them with a greater purpose for the community, for the fans, by the fans. It's not a bunch of assholes that are just stealing content for money from Activision, even though I wouldn't be opposed to that either because Activision has enough of it and they don't do shit with it. But that's not even what they're doing. They're just giving people an alternative to go back and play the old CODs safely. And I just want to say I am sorry for you guys. Like, I, I haven't played X Labs. I probably wasn't going to play SM2. And the likelihood of me playing Plutonium was definitely there, but not anytime soon. I just want to say I feel extremely upset and sorry for you guys. And this news is just fucking god awful. Like, Activision just needs holy water, Jesus. They need to go back to the Gulag. If I could send them to the Gulag twice, I would. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this upsetting news. Just give me your thoughts and opinions on all of this down in the comments below and if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos and uh yeah guys it's been the boy fully have yourselves a good one i'm out of here toodles it's been a very long time since the weekend it's been a very long time and i'm weak it's been a very long time since you've seen me don't know why